Do you have a dirty little secret? Welcome to the club. And you're all invited. The first rule of the Dirty Little Secrets Club is tell everyone about the Dirty Little Secrets Club. We're handed out memberships free of charge. Step up to the VIP line and let Dana and Brimstone take you on a weekly ride of secrets and debauchery. Now buckle up, Buttercup, because things are about to get heated on the Dirty Little Secrets Club. Welcome, everybody, to another edition of the Dirty Little Secrets Club. We are your hosts. I'm Dana Pereira. And this is Brimstone, and it's going to be another amazing episode. Why, Dana? Why? I mean, do we have to tell them every time? they we, we get these dirty little secrets in here. Some of them are a little spicy. You'll see what bit. I mean by that later on. <laughs> 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 but we love them. We love them. Absolutely, positively. Listen, um, I am super excited. Just got back from Texas. And boy, are my arms tired. Oh, oh. my God. That was bad. I didn't even say flew back. I just so I screwed you... the whole thing up ridiculously. <laughs> it's a good thing you're not a comedian, Brim. <laughs> I know. Unlike you, who did an amazing job this past week. Congratulations on your first live event. Thank you. I told you I, I called it last week. Last week I said it went great. And guess what? Yeah. It did. It went great. There, we <laughs> there you go. There we go. And last week we said that I was going to be back safe. And here I am. And here I'm you are. Safe. And and your <laughs> arms are so tired. They're so tired. <laughs> Woo, flew back. Woo. I, I got back yesterday uh, evening and um, I got a great trip because I was out in uh, Bastrop. I did my my um, uh, the the appearance over at the gas station, which is, again, if, for those who haven't heard before, it's the place that was made famous by the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So I knew going in that I was going to be staying on premises, right? What I didn't know while going in, this is why I said I was going to tell you this all on air, Mm -hmm. was that it was these tiny little cabins in the back, these 20 by 20 cabins, okay? And what do you call it? Which were nice. Don't get me wrong. We're nice. But in order to go to the bathroom, you needed to leave the little tiny little... Yeah, I see your eyes already. You needed to leave the cabin, and, and you had to go and walk... About, you know, about 200, 300 feet to the bathrooms and the showers. Oh so <laughs> so I didn't have running water. I didn't have any. What do you call it? Any mirrors? Um, I hope to hell you that. didn't have to pee in the middle of the night because I would have been like, OK, like listening. What was that? OK, what was that? <laughs> it, it gets it gets better, my love. It gets better. Okay. And yes, I did. Yes, I did. I did have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Um multiple times and every time going out there listen for the most part it's not bad you know what i mean as a matter of fact it's pretty interesting too if you're if i was stepping out of my cabin to the right is um all the way to the right is uh hillary duff's father's cattle farm so oh, cool. what do you call it so that was there um to the left again there's you know on both sides more more cabins um right right in front is like the um it's like a little bridge you take that little bridge over you're walking on grass, but in the middle of the night, there's scorpions in Texas. You know, you don't want to get sure you know. is. So, you know, you, so there's a little bridge. They give you this little bridge to walk over. And then it's like the dining area, uh, you know, which is like a bunch of picnic tables and so forth for the barbecue joint, you know, mm-hmm. because the barbecue joint, you order inside, then you come outside and you eat in the back. But now to the side, to the side of that is the bathrooms for the people for the cabins. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a separate bathroom for the patrons of the, of the restaurant. So you got the bathrooms for the for the the uh, the people that are staying overnight. And that had two two big toilets as well as uh, two uh, showers and everything. Mm-hmm. So everything was good. Everything was good until the second night, um, about maybe five in the morning, four in the morning. You had to take it all of a sudden. No, 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 no. I did that, too. I spent more time in the office there. I had a lot of barbecue food. I spent a lot of time. I declare you can ask Danielle. I declared the what do you call it? The toilet, my office, because every time that I would get a chance to speak to her, that's where I was. Uh So, um, yeah. So anyway, long story longer um, is about four or five in the morning and. I am awoken. (laughs) I'm sitting by myself in this tiny little thing. And what do you call it? I, I'm I'm awoken by a like was right over my head. Thunderstorm, thunderstorm, oh, fuck, not Texas a bear. thunderstorm, okay. Texas thunderstorm. And right over my head, the it it shook 
everything in the room, including the bed. Yeah, you remember back in the day you, you, they had those beds you put the quarters in and uh-huh. it shook the whole bed. Yeah, yeah, that's what it felt like. That's what it felt like. So oh. it was like. Meanwhile, I'm like, oh my god! I it took me a while to get to sleep. You know, like in the, I couldn't like look at my phone because the way it, everything's placed, the the outlet is on the other side of the room. So like I couldn't even fall asleep to that. Um, and what do you call it? I'm going all right. Like here we are. I'm I'm sitting now in the middle of a thunderstorm. And I have to pee. <laughs> oh, you just Let's pee just right say, out the door and let the rain wash it away. I wound up doing that after the after that 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 other night, you know, because it was like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. As I slept there on um after Saturday night, Sunday night, I was like, yeah, I'm not going all the way to the bathroom mm-hmm. anymore. But um, I what do you call it? So I held it and I did the pee pee dance, and I was up for like two three hours waiting to go to the actual bathroom. And um, I should have just peed out the door. I should have. I should. Yeah, I probably point, would have just popped a squat out the door. It was torrential. Like when I say I thought I was going to float away or something was going to happen. I swear to God, I thought something was going to happen. Flash I'm, flood and brims just bobbing down the road. <laughs> uh huh. I'm going to send you uh, photos and video of, of everything. Um, you're going to laugh your ass off because I was just I, I guess I guess you'd call it glamping. To uh-huh. a certain extent, because yeah. you have a roof over your head and you have a separate bathroom somewhere. Um, but it was wild, man. Really nice people, really cool place. Um, you know, it's very different, something I haven't done yet. So it was like going away to sleepaway camp. And even in sleepaway camp, I always had the the toilets in the room. Mm-hmm. You know, like but here I'm going, Wow, okay, all right, no worries, no worries. But you know, for people oh, oh, oh. And then you step outside. So you walk outside, right? And you hear in the background. <laughs> a little the, the gate to I think it was either the, the, the smoker area because for the restaurant or something. It's like it was a like, horror uh, movie. It was just like a horror movie. Silent, and then yep. you just hear that. Oh, my yep. goodness. Because it was dead silence. When I tell you, you walk outside dead silence and you go okay you know and you know, the woods i mean like the wooded area right behind and you know one night i you know i heard some stuff going on outside i was like not today satan i ran yeah. myself back into the room and locked the door and i'm not scared of things you know what i mean like i don't get scared that easily that was a little creepy i'm gonna tell you shit i do but you know what i'm also the girl that will be home alone by myself watching you know, crime documentaries <laughs> at night with my wine. And then I'm like, I'm so scared. Why am I so scared? <laughs> or I have nightmares. And I'm like, oh, yeah, maybe it was the seven hours of murder that you just watched. <laughs> murder. <laughs> murder. Murder. <laughs> That's so funny. And meanwhile, so he goes, uh, Roy, it's Roy and Lisa who own the spot. Really, really nice people. I spent a lot of time with them for a couple of days. And um, <laughs> Roy goes, Oh, and here, in case you want to watch anything, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, I got all these movies here and, uh, you know, he picks, starts putting them up on the counter and it's like all the horror greats. Uh. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, I am not watching any of this in that cabin by myself. Mm-hmm. No way. No, how it's not because I'm going to be up in my head and I'm going to be like up, like ready to fight somebody the whole damn time. It's not you know going to happen. What I would do if I owned that place. What? Every every night at like I don't know two in the morning. Come out with a I chainsaw. Fucking come out with a chainsaw. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and you know what's funny? And we we uh what do you call it? We were sitting there one day. Uh, I was there with the the owners, and uh, somebody actually asked, "Do they do that?" And he's like, "No, nah, no." Nah. And you know what the you know what the answer was? The reason why they don't do it? Yeah, is because what do you call it? It's like this is Texas. Too many people own guns. <laughs> you know what? Amen to that. Amen. To- I would have gotten shot immediately. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is why I'm not allowed to own that place. Crazy. Like, like what do you call it? It is. It is insane. Um, Then, I, you know, I I got to go and spend some time in Austin. Another really cool thing that I got to do. I do want to let everybody know about because if they do visit Austin, they wouldn't necessarily know. Um, They call Austin it's Bat City. They want to keep it weird. Blah, blah, blah. That's their tagline. Um, there is, what do you call it? A huge bridge that is in between, you know, that separates part of the city mm-hmm. and what do you call it? It's got, Cause it's got the water, you know, in between. 
um, this big bridge that if you go there, I guess, I don't know if it's all year round or just this time of year. Um, they have like, when I tell you thousands of people were there, thousands mm-hmm. of people were there. Um, as soon as the, the sun goes down or starts going down, a couple of bats start flying out and they start seeing what's going on. They're scouting. And then by the droves, tens of hundreds of thousands of bats flying oh. out and migrating out every day. Um, they go from there to Bastrop where all the fields are and everything. And they go and Eating they up eat all and, the bugs. Yep. Eat the bugs. And then they come back at the, uh, at the end of the day, uh, end of the night rather. And it was wild. I got crapped on by a whole bunch of bats um, because guano is flying. Do they make T-shirts that are like, I came to Bastrop and all I got was this lousy rabies? Yeah, right. No, no. <laughs> it was Austin, though. It was Austin. In all oh, fairness, okay. it was Austin. Because they go from Austin to Bastrop and then they go back from Bastrop got to it. Austin. Bastrop is more open and, you know, like more, um, uh, you know, the the... <sighs> more rural areas you know what i mean mm-hmm. austin itself is very is city you know what i mean right right yeah so it's, it's crazy though um really really cool experience uh that voodoo donuts there now so i got to have some voodoo donut um you are going to be in new orleans coming I up am. so I can't wait well by the I time see- that people hear this i will be back from new orleans but i am so excited to go it's gonna be so much fun what do you call it? Well, Voodoo Donuts is expanding all over the place, but like I um I don't know if you've ever eaten at a at a Voodoo Donut. Mm-mm. No, like Portland in Portland, Oregon, um, Voodoo Donuts just unbelievable. Um, what do you call it? So I was like, I have to, have to go to this when I saw it and I went, and it was just as good. It is okay. so so much your kind of place. Yeah. Just so you're aware. Nice. Just so you're aware. I don't know if you like donuts in general, but just in, I do. In, I love donuts. Okay, but in general, the the whole thing is um, it says uh, it, they come in these big po- big pink boxes with skulls and everything, and mm-hmm. and they're 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 uh, saying is uh, big things come in pink packages. Nice. Well, no, no, big <laughs> things come in pink boxes. Sorry. Very uh, yeah, they do. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was I was like. I was like, okay, this is this is gonna be a good thing, but yeah, the donuts are really good too, and uh, it's a lot of fun. I was like, oh, Dana would like this, so I was like, God, this is our type of place. So I missed you a lot, and and I I didn't I didn't have the chance to talk to you, but doing that and then going to Country Network, the whole nine yards, and you knew what I was there for there. Yeah. Um, but you know, we we had a lot of fun, uh, you know, over there. Like I, I had a really good time with a lot of the. The folks sounds there. like you like you talked a lot while you were there because your voice is going. <laughs> so so um so it was the last night that I was there and I was with Don, who's uh shout out to Don. He's one of the, the video guys there. Mm-hmm. He's like the lead video guy. And he goes, Brim, do you want to hang out tonight? Um, you know, I don't know if you have anything going on. I was like, actually, last night I, I have nothing going on. So um he has he had a band and he, they do band practice. At the, at the network. Oh, cool. The place, the place is so huge. So I stayed and then they invited me to come up and sing if I wanted to. Nice. So I sang a, I sang a couple of songs and I killed my voice. There so, you go. <laughs> <laughs> worth it. It was worth it. It was totally worth it. That's it. But I am drinking my agua. So, Good. you know, we, we should be OK. Um, I think you start, my friend. I think you start. I do. And I got to tell you, this one made me fucking laugh. Oh, it says Mm -hmm. in the middle of sex with my current boyfriend, I I accidentally yelled out, Dan, who is my ex-boyfriend. Oh, no, no, no. My current boyfriend, we'll call him Jake, stopped and asked me what I said. And so to cover it up, I said that I said, damn. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) All right. He started okay. laughing and told me for a second there he thought I was calling out my ex's name. I called him silly and completely laughed it off. That was a close one. Wow. <sighs> Listen, I mean, kudos for actually, you know, I mean, that was that some off. quick thinking right there. That was some on your toes thinking. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of. You are so lucky <laughs> your ex's name is Dan. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> if it was like like Chuck or something, yeah. you know what I mean? And you'd be in trouble. 
Yeah. You know, or 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 Wolf Wolf Hauser or something. Like yeah. Some stupid thing. You know what I mean? Leonard. You know what I mean? Right. Oh, Leonard. Leonard. Yeah. Who? Um, I said oh. lanyard. Choke me with the lanyard. Yeah. You know? Oh, Wolfie. What? What? Oh, I want you to wolf me down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know. See, I, what, I don't call out names during sex. Do you? Um, I, I don't. Actually, I think I have. Yeah. I think so. Like. I'm never um, like, oh, Joe. Oh, like I just. I mean, I like have noise, yeah. but I'm never like saying words. I don't feel like baby or whatever but usually it's oh, like um actually, when i get drunk i talk a lot <laughs> <laughs> it's usually usually when other things are going on but you know like um yeah i mean i i've i've said it before you know like but it, most times like baby or you know yeah. uh, you know like you know you're i don't know i don't know I, i've said it before i've said before yeah, keep the name calling vague, right? Like, don't get specific with your names when you're having sex for incidents like this. Well, I mean, wh- here's the thing: is is she still hung up on her ex? You know what I mean? Like, why why would you be calling out that name unless you're still thinking about that person like that, right? Well, sometimes it's just like muscle memory, you know, like, I mean, I will go through all of my children and my dogs before I call out my husband's name, you know, like I just it's <laughs> like I have so much jumbled up in my head that it's I'm like, hey, you know, like Penny, Lucy, Mason, <laughs> you know, and then, so maybe it was something like that. Or maybe she still misses her ex. I don't know. I mean, like how how long has it been since? You know, she and her ex have broken up. Yeah. Um, that I mean, would make a difference if it's years. Then it sounds like you'd be thinking about your ex. Yeah. So. Wow. I mean, look, she got away with it. She did. Good for you. Stop like, saying what? specific names, though, during sex is my advice. Like, I mean, what name? All right. Let's 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 think. Let's we're going to okay. play a little game here. We're going right. to play a little game. Mm-hmm. I'm going to throw a name at you. You're going to tell me what you would say you said. OK, oh, and then you'll boy. throw a name okay. at me and I'll say something that I would have said. All right. All right ready? This is not going to go well. Go for okay. it. OK, <laughs> let's say <laughs> Alex. Um, I licks. I licks your balls. <laughs> OK. All right. All right. All right. All right. Me now. Me now. Me now. Um, uh, Michelle. Uh, uh, I miss you so much. <laughs> yeah. I said, oh, you. I was I was being Italian. I was trying to play a part. I was trying to get into like a character. I'm going to show you so much. I miss you. I miss you, you so much. I'm going to show you so much. Right. I, I, Role we got, playing. Role playing. We, I think you could have got away with it. OK, I got one for you. Ready? Okay. Lester. Lester. Um, Lester that like less, less of that. I I said less of that. I need you to do more go. Of something else. <laughs> There we go. By the way, if you ever sleep with a guy named Lester, we can't be friends anymore. Um, but oh. okay, give, <laughs> give me one, give me one, give me one, give me one. Okay. Um, going to say, um, oh my gosh, why can't Diane? Um, um, Diane, uh, I'm dying to have you suck my dick. <laughs> I'm dying here, <laughs> right? Oh, I'm dying. It's so good. Woo. All right, this is fun. This is All fun. Right. All right. I think we did. Right. I think we both passed the test. I, I think we passed the test. <laughs> well, I, I, we're gonna have to do more games like that in the future. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So wait, is it is it my turn? Are we done with uh, Dan? Uh, it is your turn. Poor Jake. Poor Jake. Um. Um. Okay. Here we go. So this next writer says, "I fucked my way to the top, and I'm not even a little bit ashamed of it." As a woman in a male-driven career, I used my assets to make it to the winner's circle. I actually feel empowered by that. Okay. All right. Um, To each their own. Not bad. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. I mean, men do it all the time, right? Like, even with their golf game. Like, oh, I'm going to go golfing with this group of people to kind of network and way. And she's like, I'm going to go out there with my vagina and I'm going to network, too. <laughs> That's a good way to network. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Call me. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, Seems seriously though. For her. It's I. But here's the thing: like, how how does that how does that work if you're going from one to the next to the next? You know what I mean? Just to make it to that that 
How does that work? I don't know. Well, I mean, I guess it depends. Like, if you're going out there and like, I'm going to fuck my way to the top, then I don't think you care about other people knowing or judging or anything. You're like, listen, I'm going to use what was given to me in my favor and I'm going to use it to my advantage. So she probably doesn't give a shit if they're out there talking or whatever. She's like, "Mm, just get me in there and I'm going to climb that ladder after I climb that cock. That's what I'm saying. I was just going to say, get me in there. Hell yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry. I mean, I, I, if she had a lot of a lot of uh, rungs to go up, I mean, it might be like a hot dog in a hallway right now. I mean, it who doesn't knows? Re- vaginas don't work like that. They um, bounce back. <laughs> depends. It's like if you got something like this and it's going like this, you know what I mean? It's a little di- it's a little difficult for You're it to giving go back. men out there way too much credit because of uh, I didn't say it. Five inch penis isn't going to oh, do. Oh no, differences. sweetheart! I'm not talking about a schmeckle here. I'm talking about whether it be toys or a fist itself. Listen, there are these women's that that listen. Uh, tell me I'm wrong. There's women's that they fist each other. You know what I mean? And you she can tell me that she did not say that she fisted her way to the top. She said oh, okay. she fucked her <laughs> way to the top. That in my brain is penis. Okay, I'll 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 accept that. I'll accept it. Just because it's you, Dana. I'm uh, gonna accept. Thank you. <laughs> God damn, Dan. Uh, I mean, um, I yeah. damn, damn, <laughs> damn, 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 damn. <laughs> uh, I don't know. All right. I want to know what her career is. Uh, me too. Let's think here. A male-driven career, like what is like marketing and advertising? No, I feel like there's a lot of women in that now, right? Male stripper. Ooh. Male stripper. She's like uh the the Chippendale. She's the only female Chippendale. <laughs> yeah, so, woo! she used her assets. Woo! Maybe. Um maybe she's a plumber. She could be a plumber. Oh. Look at my ass crack. Look at but that. But how do you get your way crack. into the winner circle of the plumbing, plumbing? union? <laughs> Think about that. <laughs> the plumbing. <laughs> Making sure all the plumbing's working there, darling. Mm-hmm. That's what you gotta do. Make sure mm-hmm. it's all working. Make sure to get, unclog them pipes. Lots of pipes to unclog. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I'm still uh, her. Your new name is Little Susie. That's her, Little Susie. That's what her name little, is. She big Susie. She made it to the she, top. She made it to the she top. Boss. She, She's little, boss girl Susie. Boss woman Susie. <laughs> little Susie's a boss Susie now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> she done got all filled up. Um, mm-hmm. Wow. Debbie does Dallas, right? I mean, Susie does Dallas, Dallas now. Uh huh. I don't know. That's crazy. I want to know what the career was. I know. Me too. If you feel like writing back into us, please tell us what you do. Yeah. And if you want to, you know, the fuck your way through podcast, give us a holler. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just... Give him a holler. <laughs> I... I'm kidding. It's a joke. Don't give me a holler. You want to get me in trouble? No, I don't want to get you in trouble. <laughs> don't get me at in all, trouble. Actually. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good boy, Charlie Brown, for the most part. Um, What do you call it? Okay. So, yeah, I think I'm done with 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 little Susie who's a big girl now. Boss, what, boss, what babe, Susie, boss, babes. I want to know what Susie looks like. Me I want to know. Is she, I bet she you she's must... hot. I don't know. That's the thing she is. I want to know. Prove it, Susie. I want to see. <laughs> and send it. Send a regular one and then a nude one. Send it to Dana, not to me. I don't want to get in trouble. That's right. Yeah. I'll get in trouble, too. Know. Danielle's going to be like, what the hell, Dana? Why are you telling them? to?" <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. She'll, she'll be like, she'll be like, let me see the picture, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, it'd be really funny if, if, if little Susie was actually a man, too. Mm. Uh huh. Twist. No, a twist. she's little transgender. Susie. Susie said that as a woman in a male driven career, so could be transgender. Well, could be. <laughs> I'm assuming I'm not. not. <laughs> Listen, I'm just being I, I don't want to assume anything because assuming makes an ass out of you and me. And I just want to say it's OK. I'm saying it's OK. <laughs> and I'm just saying I'm an ass man. <laughs> I am. I am an ass man. I like asses, but I like the boobies, too. Uh, yeah, we great. said we said one booby booby. We should have said a, a schmeckle booby booby. What a we should have done. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yes. Because it could have been a stiff schmeckle uh, and then a booby booby. 
But number one hundred, we did a hundred episodes. We're on our hundred and first episode. Hundred and how crazy is that? Look at us go. How have you dealt with me that long? I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) It's like I hate you, Ram. I hate you. Uh, you I love love you. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So, um, what's this next one? What's this next one? This is all you. We're done with little Susie. Big. We're done with little Susie. I once broke up with a smoking hot girl because she chewed with her mouth open and made loud lip smacking noises when she ate. Every meal felt like torture. I tried to joke about it with her to bring it to her attention, but she kept doing it. I couldn't handle it anymore. I couldn't handle it anymore. Thank you. Thank you. See, see, after all these episodes, we're getting that 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 energy going when we're you You see me as an actress. I couldn't handle it anymore. You go, girl. You go. <laughs> you go, Glenn Coco. You glow. You go, Glenn Coco. Not winning any Oscars anytime soon. That's for sure. You know what that's from, right? The Glenn no. Coco thing. Mm-mm. Really? No. Mean Girls? You ever saw Mean Girls? I saw Mean Girls. I just don't remember the Glenn Coco thing. What's that? That's the the what do you call it when um the the big gay guy goes in and he's bringing the 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 lollipops for the Valentine's Day or whatever and uh two for this one one for this one and none for none for Gretchen Wiener <laughs> none for Gretchen Wiener <laughs> and, so, and, and oh and two for Glenn Coco you go Glenn Coco you know uh- <laughs> that was so he says two for oh look at this you know two for Glenn Coco you go Glenn Coco and then he goes and none for Gretchen Wiener you know in, again <laughs> Anyways. in case you yeah. were wondering none for yeah. you none for you none for you yes son of a bitch oh by the way before we get to this next one oh wait wait we are we're, talking we're, st- we we're did, still on the last we're st- one we're, st- we're, st- we're still on the last one I just want to say before I forget because it just popped in my head and you know how I can't uh-huh. remember crap um I sent you the gif that we were talking about last week ah. did you see it did you see the gif hmm me so coming. Yes, gift. you did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, the I did. Gift, the gift, me coming through. No, I didn't send your gifts out yet. That's I, what I, I thought I, you said. No, no, I was no, like, no. oh, I'm getting a gift. <laughs> no, I have your I already have your holiday present, which you still haven't gotten. But I still have to go get you your birthday present. So, yes, I saw so, the gift. What we need gift. to do is put ah. that up on to um, Instagram and show people because it's so funny. It's so, <laughs> it's so the gif that put that poor kid in therapy, probably because you knocked down his wall. <laughs> you saw it. You saw what we were talking about with the whole wall and everything. It was yes. like, oh, yeah. it makes my a lot favorite more sense part now. is if you look in the background of the gif, there's like a, a woman that is like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, there were a lot of people there making that face like, what the hell did you just do? It was like. Yeah, I just hurt that poor kid's feelings. Um, but it's okay. Um, all right. So she this this guy broke up with the smoking hot girl because she chewed with the mouth open. She's, I get she's it. A, a noisy eater. Does that annoy you? Is that like a pet peeve of yours? Um, the noisy eating, not necessarily. I mean, look, you know, chew with your mouth closed. If you just, you know, I mean, that would probably get to me eventually. But if that's the case, you know, don't joke about it. Say, listen. Uh, you know, uh, if if you, you know, speak to them in a nice way about it, you know, maybe they're not conscious of it and you don't want to joke about it. But you could say, listen, I don't know if you realize this, but, you you know, you chew with your mouth open a lot. I don't know if you realize this, of a, but you sound like a fucking camel over there yeah, chewing it's, up. It's <laughs> kind of my pet peeve. And, you know, like, like at least if, if you let them know that it's a pet peeve, and if they give a shit about you, then, you know, maybe, uh, you know. Maybe they'll work on it. Who knows? But um, if she was smoking hot, you know, like if she, maybe maybe she does that, but maybe she's really good in between the sheets. You know what I'm or saying? Maybe and not. If she's like all mouth and like, nah, 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 maybe she's not that great. Maybe she's other places. Isn't. Maybe she's expecting. Maybe she's thinking that they're being a schmeckle in her mouth. Maybe she maybe she's making those noises. I don't trying think to anybody you wants in. their schmeckle. Going, nah, nah, nah. or maybe they do. Maybe I need to try it. I don't know. I'll ask Joe. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm having a good time. That's it. Listen, it's like when you go to a restaurant and the, the chef is watching and the chef wants to make sure that you're enjoying the food. So if you're just going, you're eating and nothing, but if you're going, mm, 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 ooh, mm, 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 you know, then, you know, oh, okay, I'm doing a good job. You know what I'm saying? So maybe if she, I'm just pulling shit out of my ass right now, but maybe, you know, when she's doing that, you know what I mean? She's like trying to say, mm, 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 I'm going to suck you good later. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, now, come on, chef. I, I got all the ingredients. If I put something like delicious 
in my mouth. Like if we are at dinner and I eat, I am an audible, like I will be like, mm, this is so good. Like I will be audible about that. So I think that I would please a chef. Here you go. There you go. Yeah. Mm -mm, bitch, this is Here's good. Yummy. <laughs> yummy. I'm going to eat it all. I'm going to eat the whole plate. I'm going to lick it. Ah, I'll lick that plate. All I'm them juices. I'm really hungry right now. Nom, 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 nom. You know what I'm like snacking on? Like really trying to be quiet about. I have no With free your ads. mouth noises? Yeah. Real, real, real. You know, Duncan, Duncan Ooh. flavored iced coffee flavored jelly beans. Interesting. No free ads. They are I actually didn't know really they good. had those. Neither did I. I saw them. And I guess they had these out during Easter or something. I don't know. Um, but what do you call it? Um, yeah. Nice. Yeah. I got them and I, I was enjoying them while I was away. And I still have a lot more. So I was like enjoying them, you know, yeah. as we yap. I'm just sucking on it a little bit. You know, what well, I, mean? I, didn't, flavor. I didn't hear any mouth noises. So, well, that's because I'm when I come away from the mic, you can't hear me as well as I you know, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See? See, I'm smart. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, I never go. I just pop one in. You Got, never know. Give, what? Give this guy a little mouth noise right now. Um, 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 mm, mm. You enjoying that, Mister? Huh? I'm chewing my mouth open. Gonna break up with you. Don't break up with me. Um, <laughs> um, um. Mm. Mm. There we go. Yummy. And this way, I can do it nice and quiet. Yeah. Are you able to do it while you're reading? I can, because my turn. <laughs> You ready? <laughs> yeah. I might be chewing while I'm eating, but hey, at the end of the day, I mean, while I'm reading, but anyway, um, listen, I can say a word and get away with it now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So even yep. if I'm wrong, I can be right. <laughs> I said, you know, three wrongs might not make a left, but it does make a right. See? Okay. <laughs> I think. Yeah. We'll get, we'll go with that. <laughs> we'll go with that. Uh, a right. What was it? Um, Right, a right doesn't make a wrong, but three lefts make a right, or something like that. I have no, I've never heard that before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not very well used, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Um, all right, here we go. So, okay. <laughs> I love this is a writer because I don't know what the hell <laughs> is going to happen right you. now. Uh, yeah, this is this is this is you here, and, mm -hmm. and you know, every once in a while, I don't look at them, <laughs> I'm looking at it now. Here we go. This writer says. I love to masturbate with icy hot. <laughs> hold on. I got to get my composure. Uh, hold on. Uh, icy, icy hot. Okay. It's, <laughs> it's oh a God. sensation I didn't even know existed. Someone told me to try it as a prank. And I've been loving it ever since. <laughs> That's messed up. First of all, you're gonna burn your speckle off. What are you yeah. like? Why? Why would you do that? Um, what? wow. People like some. There's a pain, pleasure, like combo there that people fucking love. But some people. Some people apparently, you know, he's masturbating, so he doesn't have somebody else to do it for him. See, it would be funny if they like if they were using it and and then they like like, like blew like with their like not an ah, I'm like oh, talking about oh actual God. blowing on yeah. the on the you know, the skin when it's on there, because, you know, like that, that would be torture. I, don't even I would know assume. if I've ever used Icy Hop before. Have you used Icy Hop? You had to have. Yeah. You're an ex yeah. wrestler. Yeah. Yeah. On the muscles. Doesn't really and would work. you put it on your peep? No, <laughs> I never put it on my peep. Are you kidding me? No, that's what I'm saying. It's not smart. That shit yeah. burns. Oh it my gets goodness. really, really hot. Like, you know, okay, I, I'm 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 gonna be, you know, full disclosure here. Uh -huh. So for years I've been doing, you know, I have my own hot sauces and seasonings and that. You people yeah. most people know that. Um when I would be at either at at the um the, the offices there creating my flavors or if I was doing um, events where I would be giving samples of the sauces and everything, you're touching things or whatever. It's all over your fingers at yeah. the, you know, you don't think about it. Even if, it, even though you wash your uh, hands, when you go to take a leak, you go to take a leak and you're, and you grab your stuff. Um, oh. What do you call it? it, it the capsaicin still on your fingers. So it, what do you call it? It seeps through and actually, does a number on your genitals you know what oh i mean so yeah and, and it gets real hot especially you're dealing with like 
scorpion pepper and maruga. Ooh. You know what I mean? Like all these crazy, crazy things. And uh, you know, so the last thing you want, is like Reaper, is to be sitting and touching yourself because it burns to holy hell and it takes a while to go away. So I see jalapeno girl. Unless you tell me, I see. Oh, maybe that she needs to hook up with this dude. That would be like a match made in freaking. Did uh, we heaven. just make a love connection? I think we did. Jalapeno girl, where is you? We're yeah, gonna set you up. With icy girl. hot. He icy hot dude can just put it on him, and then they can make a connection, and she's happy and he's happy. I think that we just found like some soulmates here. Um, we're gonna have to make the connection. It's gonna be the, that's the next one, the Dirty Little Secrets Club, uh, Dirty Little Secrets Club, um, dating show. Oh my god, I I think we're we're onto something here. I think we, we found think exactly should... one couple in two years. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I think I should pitch that too. We should do a dating show. How funny is that? You should I do a dating it. show. I that would, would be love great. it. And, yeah. You know, and we could we could pull up just like uh they have Nick and Nick Lachey and and whatever his wife's name. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, when they do all the Netflix ones and we'll they'll just like match everyone by their kinks, just match everyone. Yeah. By the kinks. <sighs> How funny would that be? They're That'd like, be so all right. Good. So you like to dress in baby outfits and you like to coddle children. So what do you call oh, them? Jesus. You know? <laughs> so let's let's do something here. Um, you know, uh, this one you likes like to... icy hot on your dick and you like jalapenos in your vagina. That's right. That's right. It's a you, love. It's a match made in heaven. You like to eat the um, uh, pudding out of the mattress. Uh, I don't know what this, the fluff out of the mattress. And he likes to bang uh, unicorn dolls. Um, you Great. know, like something Sounds like a match. Something's going to happen. We're going to make we're going to make absolute freaking connections. I can't tell you that. It's, I can't tell you that, that that that's a bad idea. It's a fantastic idea. It's a great you know? idea. I just hope that this guy here doesn't like burn his dick off because (laughs) that sounds like it kind of sounds a little dangerous. Did we talk to a doctor about this? Because I just want to make sure you're being safe. And and don't don't go sticking it on your nuts because you know the testicles, no, they can't handle that kind of pain. Can't handle it. Although I will say I have seen on many occasions um people that you know are okay with getting kicked in the nads. And yeah. they just kick them, kick them like nobody's business. Bah, it's like bah, an episode of bah. Jackass. Can't, can't handle, mm. can't handle. No good. Anyway, that's about all the time we have. We talking did about it. nuts, talking we about nuts it. and stuff, nuts and stuff. There. Um. Anyway, yeah. Uh, hopefully, you guys uh love and appreciate the Dirty Little Secrets Club as much as we do. Um. Thank you so much for tuning in every single week. We uh want to make sure that you rate, review, and subscribe. As Dana will always say, the first rule and only rule of the Dirty Little Secrets Club. Yes, the first rule of the Dirty Little Secrets Club is to tell everyone about the Dirty Little Secrets Club. Darn tootin'. We love you. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Tune in next week, and uh, we'll see you there. Think we want something from you, you got another thing coming.